And today's announcement, of course, a case of deja vu for many of us here in the Miami Valley. Ten years ago, GM shut down its plant in Moraine, costing our area thousands of jobs. Two News reporter Kristen Escow continues our team coverage with reaction from local residents. Brooke and Mark, GM's plant in Moraine employed more than 4,000 people during its peak. Some people I spoke with say the effects of GM's closure here are still being felt today. It was a facility that was once filled with thousands of GM workers, but that came to an end in 2008 when the automaker shut down its Moraine plant, laying off the 1,000 employees who remained. It left behind a big impact on businesses and members of the community. I worked at Fat Daddy's when GM was open and how busy it was compared to how it is now. Lisa Jackson's brother worked for GM in Moraine for seven years. After the company closed its doors here, he was transferred to Bowling Green, Kentucky, where he later lost his job. It was unfortunate because then he had to leave all his family here and behind and move there and start all over. GM still has ties to manufacturers in the Miami Valley. A union representative for employees at D-Max in Moraine, which makes diesel engines for GM, says workers there are not expected to be affected by the announcement. Fuyao Glass America, which moved into the Moraine GM plant in 2014, is a supplier for General Motors. I see the impact that it's taken on the community. You drive down through Moraine and empty parking lots, empty buildings. Tara Burnett had some relatives who worked for the Moraine GM plant. She says she believes the town still has a ways to go to fully recover. I don't think Fuyao has the offerings that GM once had, and I don't see that bringing back the business that GM had. But Jackson says she believes the area has started to bounce back. It seems like businesses are picking up, so I do think that the Fuyao being in there has helped tremendously. GM's closure in Moraine also impacted several local suppliers, costing the Miami Valley hundreds more jobs. Now we're still waiting to hear back from Fuyao to see if their operations will be impacted by today's announcement. Kristen Escow, 2 News, working for you.